couldn't scream loud enough. There's nothing I could do to make it go away or to make them stop. I, I didn't. Are you okay talking about this? Um, can we take a break? Mia Khalifa. Mia Khalifa. Mia Khalifa. Mia Khalifa. I'm Sarah. Sarah fucking Joe. Sarah Joe. The former adult film star. Now business owner and social media activist. With over 50 million followers. Where should this story start? I lived through a lot of conflict in Lebanon. And then I moved to America and I was bullied for being Middle Eastern. It was around the time of 9-11. That was pretty difficult. Made a lot of choices that I can't take back. Your husband, when you're 18 years old, is encouraging you towards the adult entertainment industry. What did they stand to gain from that? Fetishization. I fucked up because I signed a contract that says in perpetuity on it. Do you know how dangerous and predatory that is? When was your anxiety at its highest? The company going after me publicly. The major production companies prey on vulnerable young women. Didn't shower, didn't brush my teeth, didn't eat, didn't leave my bed. It's following me for the rest of my life, but I am not the sum of the things I've been through or the adversities I've faced. For people that are really struggling, how did you get out of that phase? Mia Khalifa shaming men and getting mad because of her work in the past is equivalent to me saying, I don't like cheese, but I use cheese as deodorant every single day. It's like me saying, I love to eat, but I hate to poop. <laughs> Does not make any damn sense. They were the ones who kind of put that whole world in front of me and encouraged it. They encouraged it? Oh, very much so. Uh, your, your husband? Yeah. I struggle to understand this. How, how, so your husband, when you're 18 years old, is encouraging you towards the adult entertainment industry? Started off as just online. But then eventually, yeah, when when I was asked to to I was given I was given a business card and told to think about it. I went home. I laughed it off. And the consensus was you should do it. I, I read this story. You were out, out at lunch somewhere. Someone a guy walks up to you when you're how old? 20. The fact that she's still doing these interviews, it tells me that she does not want to be a regular person. She still wants to be Mia Khalifa because she craves that attention and validation. And I want to talk about violence against children. It is a big no-no. Get the fuck out. The porn company coming after you and attacking you. Not something you would expect from a company. A billion dollar company yeah. at that. Yeah, yeah, it goes to show you how petty and personal it is because the people who are behind it aren't exactly the CEOs. It's the board pseudo producers who don't like that I'm out here talking about my experience. It's very much individuals, not the company, but these individuals do have the power to speak on the company's behalf. What are they threatened by? This is the outcome the girls want who enter the industry, most of them who enter the commercial porn industry um, or the mainstream porn industry. They, they want the fame, they want the infamy, they want all of that. And I think for the first time, these individuals are experiencing someone who is fully aware of what was happening and is fully aware of what is and isn't ethical and has the platform and the resources to speak on all of those things. What is your opinion of the industry now? I have a very unfavorable opinion on it, but I do think that there are ethical and unethical ways that you can support sex workers and consume porn. As someone who is a creator or as someone who is simply a consumer, there are ethical ways to do it. Granted, any company has its downsides, like even OnlyFans has trouble policing and, and regulating the people who are on their site. Every company has its downsides, but I would say that the major production porn companies are all predatory and abusive and unethical and prey on vulnerable young women. And even me saying this, I already know that some of the responses back are gonna be from women in the industry that say, no, it's not, no, it's not. It's great, it's fantastic, everyone is so nice. I love this company, I love working with, I love all of this. And to be honest with you, 
I think that that rhetoric is grooming. I think that if you're going to enter the industry and you're going to be an advocate for it, it has to come with a caveat. And that caveat needs to be, you shouldn't enter the industry unless you've already kind of been in the industry. It shouldn't be a first option for you. Think about it more, wait on it more. The age to go into the industry should not be 18. You're putting contracts in front of 18 year old girls that have the words in perpetuity on them. Do you know how dangerous and predatory that is? Just another typical blame deflecting taking no accountability, a self-centered narcissist who's trying to manipulate the situation so she could get people to feel sorry for her so she does not have to take accountability for her actions. It's a brilliant strategy, but I see right through that crock shit because I bet you she wasn't thinking that when she was swallowing man chowder for hundreds and millions of dollars. And let me tell you guys this, there's no amount of money in this world that can buy your respect and she still has the utter audacity to roast and make fun of people's careers out of all people. We disrespected WWE when talking about Ronda Rousey after she left the UFC to join WWE. This is where her career will go to die. Absolutely not. I have no respect for the WWE. I don't think it's a real sport. So, I, really? I, yeah, I think that's where her career will go to die. With it's choreography. It's, yeah, it's that's embarrassing. Twice, you go twice, from twice, real fights to wearing a sequin unitard and pretending to fight? Yeah. Those comments pissed off Shane Helms, a.k.a. The Hurricane. He responded on Twitter saying, I'm not gonna get upset that a star does not respect pro wrestling. She's entitled to her opinion. Our bodies take a pounding and well, so does hers. That's gotta be the greatest comeback in Twitter history. She says she doesn't respect WWE because it's fake fighting. Well, damn, isn't porn choreographed as well? Well, I guess Mia Khalifa is used to experiencing the other kind of Monday Night Raw. And hasn't she learned that her career being a professional harvester, the cream of the crop of cream gobblers, you don't get to insult other people's professions because a thousand percent of the time, you will lose the row session before it even begins. Who is he? That's Mia Khalifa. That's Mia Khalifa. All right, so what you smash your pastor? Be realistic. Uh, I have a girlfriend, but in theory, it's me, Khalifa, so... In theory, it's me, Khalifa. Okay, so realistically, you would say smash. That. Okay, 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 that's reasonable. So, how long do you think you would last with her? Uh, depends on a lot of things, but... Depends. What? what, what be specific. Um, let's, let's just say five minutes. Let's just, okay, let's just okay, say five okay, minutes. okay. Let's just reasonable, say. reasonable. All right, so, based on her looks, on a scale of one to ten, how good do you think her name is? That it's basically her job, so... 10 this is basically your job. job okay okay that's reasonable that's reasonable all right so what would you do if you saw her right now at ucla what would you say to her probably get a selfie with her you probably get a selfie with her yeah oh shit okay well turn around then what's good hey that yeah that's not that's not that huh that's not me and khalifa who is she then that's uh wish me khalifa <laughs> men are the easiest thing in the entire world if you are wondering how you and another woman got the same man it is because men are the easiest thing in the entire world i have never wanted a man and not gotten him do you have any idea how many men have wanted me and not gotten me granted granted some dusties have caught me slipping but there has never been a single man that i have wanted that i have not gotten because men Unfortunately, Mia, I have to disagree. You are the easiest thing in the entire world because all it takes is just one simple click for millions of people to see you booty hole naked on the internet. You don't believe me? Watch this. Type in your name in the Google search engine because you are one click away from the truth. Korean? Gobbler. Gobbler. Go through this step by step. How did you get involved with the sex industry? I struggled my entire childhood with weight. Considerable amount of weight. Uh, um, I, it wasn't... What it, was it in you? 
Um, well, it, yeah, it changed I, your oh, body, yeah. it changed you physically. Completely. Yeah. So yeah. I never felt attractive or worthy of male attention. Mm. I, I, I can work with nothing. We interview a lot of people, and many of them are middle-aged or older. It's great to have somebody in the studio who's only 26 years old. I'm just trying to get ahead. Um, mm. I, I, have you ever... It is very hard. You must have known how provocative that was. What's your take on that? Uh, that it would... It obviously, would... a lot of time has passed and you've moved on, but why didn't you then say, I'm not doing it? I, I was intimidated. I was nervous. Do you think there is some sort of... You guys of... are going to get me killed. My entire childhood with weight, and I never felt attractive or worthy of male attention. And suddenly, my first year of college, I start losing all this weight from making small changes. And mm. by the time I graduated, I was ready to make a bigger difference. I felt extremely self-conscious about my breasts because that was the first thing to go when I lost all the weight. I lost about... 50 pounds, I don't know how many kilos that is, or stones. She says, I struggled with male attention. Men are cheap and easy. I get all the men I want. Her current relationship status. Her husband divorced her. I see better than I hear because getting a man is one thing, but keeping a man is something completely different. And the only reason why she got married is because she was trying to prove a point that adult actresses can live normal lives and be happy in relationships. And me and you know damn well. Bullshit. Bullshit. You sales. It's all bullshit. Fellas, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm just a nigga with a rocket launcher.